These images from space seen and shocked round the world. Lake Mead shrinking right before our eyes. You see the progression from 20 years ago to 10 years ago to now. So NASA took these photos to track changes to our climate. And we asked one NASA scientist, how low could Lake Mead go? Could it dry up? Well, scientists explain how even our best efforts to save our water are up against unprecedented climate change. This is not a few bad years. Western U.S. has been basically in a drought since 2000. The message is get ready for a drier future. It's kind of a wake-up call. NASA's message by showing the shrinking water levels at Lake Mead. Brace for the impact of climate change, the worst drought in 1,200 years, and for Lake Mead to possibly keep shrinking. Benjamin Cook, climate scientist at the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, breaks down the harsh reality facing the crucial water source for the western U.S. How bad is it going to get for Lake Mead? Well, we can say with confidence that it's probably going to take a while for Lake Mead to return to full capacity. The hole we've dug, the deficit that we have is just so large, it's really going to take a really monumental effort to reduce water use and just some luck to get the moisture to get things back to the way they, they used to be. Could Lake Mead dry up this century, certainly? It's a very real possibility that Lake Mead could, could dry up. But one thing that's important to consider is it's not just the climate system weather that's controlling the levels in Lake Mead. It's also how much water we use. Even the last two years are really beginning to test what's, uh, what's been done. So it's not enough. Right now... Probably not. Cook acknowledges the hard work being done to halt water usage across the West. In fact, the Southern Nevada Water Authority says usage has decreased 26 percent since 2002, despite a population surge. And Southern Nevada boasts the smallest allotment. California and Arizona have the lion's share, followed by Mexico. NASA says all these policymakers are up against Mother Nature. And what's projected for the next 100 years? A harsher, drier climate. A little bit on average drier. When droughts happen, it means that the droughts are typically more severe and longer lasting. Anybody who, who is concerned is right. And this is something that we need to pay attention to. And is like me likely to recover in the next few years? Almost certainly not. Is there a potential to at least start to stop the decline, slow it down, and at least begin a recovery? I think potentially yes. So there is hope, Cook says, and believes policymakers can stop the steep decline or minimize the impact of the drought depending on water restrictions and water usage.